Political science. Art history. Biology. Social work. Computer science. History. International studies. Chemistry. Sociology. Nursing. Social work. Physics. English. German. Math. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So even math majors we let inquire because they count really well. They do count. Absolutely. So, so here's, here's my word to you, my encouragement to you. Um, everyone who studies how the human brain works comes to a realization that because we participate in music, because we participate in the arts, our brain functions better. And not only that, our life is richer. So let me just say an encouragement to you. Whatever you do after high school, continue to sing. Go someplace, go audition for the college choir because it's not all just music majors. Let's sort of change the pace here just a little bit and let's sing some Sigala Gala. Could I have my drummer friends? Yeah? This music is originally from the country of Kenya. And uh, essentially the text is sort of a gathering together, sort of praise sort of feeling. We hope you enjoy the spirit of this. Sigala Gala. Can you say that with me? Sigala Gala. Good. You can see your friends in the hall today and say Sigala Gala. Iowa, 
And uh, what, is a, what, what is a liberal arts college? Well, you know, I never went to a liberal arts college myself, so I didn't really know until I started teaching at, at Luther. Having gone to state universities and conservatories and that kind of thing, a liberal arts college, and I'm sure each one would have your own definition of what that means, but for me it's about um, finding a wonderful balance in one's education of both depth and one's discipline, your major, if you will, and then a sense of breadth and having a broader sense of the world, what's going on in the world. And I, I'm continually impressed as I interact with my students about their awareness of whether it's uh, politics or something that's going on in some part of the world uh, that we should be concerned about as Americans or something. So uh, Luther is a very special school in that we have our roots in the Lutheran Church and are sponsored by that, by that body. And that somewhat um, impacts, I, I should say strongly impacts really, the repertoire that we sing. We mostly we sing sacred music. And if we were singing for you in our uniform, we'd be singing in beautiful blue robes. And we'll be doing that in our evening performances. Uh, just for uh, travel ease, we were sort of dressed, you know, every day normal, slightly dressed up. Um, but um, I would just encourage you as you begin to think about where you might want to attend college, maybe look at a, at a place like Luther. And I'm going to ask for two of our students to come and just talk to you for a moment about their Luther experience. So Tyler and Ann, uh, where's Tyler? Tyler is uh, from Colorado, and I'll let him tell you a little bit about himself and how did he end up at, at a, a Midwestern college. Tyler. Okay, well my name is Tyler Reese. I'm originally from Glenwood Springs, Colorado, so the other side of the mountains. But uh, I first heard about Luther when I went to All-State Choir in Fort Collins a couple of years ago, my senior year. And the man who had Dr. Hightower's job right before him, Dr. Arnold, his name was, was the clinician there. And he first introduced me to Luther College. And uh, I went out there to visit for a day with my dad, and I wasn't really expecting I, wasn't really, I didn't really know what to expect, actually. But I got on campus, and from the moment I stepped foot on the place, I knew this was the place because music was so accepted there, and it was a part of the culture, and the student body just absolutely loved all the musicians, and everyone got along well. And it was just such a nice place, but I am so glad to be coming back to Colorado. I miss the mountains. It's very flat. Everywhere out there, we drove through Nebraska yesterday, so... It's, Great relief to be back in the and sing it for you guys. <laughs> Hello, my name is Ann Walsh. Um, I'm a senior at Luther, and I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, and what brought me to Luther, I think, was I, I was actually originally looking at conservatories. I'm a vocal performance major and music education major as well. So I hope to teach next year. I'll do my student teaching and um, hopefully abroad. I'm looking at uh, student teaching in South Korea, actually. So hoping that works out. Um, and then also I'll go on to do a graduate um, degree in vocal performance. So I knew that Luther would be a place where I could get, where I could have one-on-one -on -one attention with professors. And that has proved to be true. Um, my voice professor is absolutely amazing. Um, and I get the full choral experience, love it. And I knew that I couldn't be as well-rounded anywhere else besides Luther. The other schools I was looking at were conservatories, and I knew that I'd only be in the music building. And at Luther, I'm in, I'm in the science building, I'm in the student union all the time. I, um, get to, I have so many interests, and so at Luther, I get to do those things. Like, I love improv comedy and theater, and so I actually started an improv comedy troupe at Luther with a couple of these guys in the choir, um, and that's just a blast. And I was able to be in a couple of shows here, too, and operas, and um, people can do sports in, when they're in choir, too, so I just knew I'd be able to get the full experience at Luther, and I have not regretted it for one day. So I encourage you to look there if you are looking for schools. So thanks for letting us sing here, we're really enjoying it.